Welcome to my channel, The Purple Poncho. I'm Carolyn, and today I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful pinwheel flower. We will be using number four worsted weight yarn, a size J crochet hook, and we will also need a stitch marker. To begin, make a slip knot and place it on your hook. We will start with chain eight, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Go back to the first chain and make a slip stitch to make a ring. We will make chain three, which counts as a double crochet, working over our tail. We're going to place 25 more double crochet stitches inside the ring. And our, as I said, the chain three counts as a stitch. So right now we have one, two, three, four double crochets and continue around the circle until you have 26 double crochet stitches. in the round with slip stitch to the top of the chain three. End off your yarn and here is round one. Bring in a stitch marker and place it on the right side of your work. And now for round two I'm going to use a different color, make a slip knot, place it on your hook. I'm going to start a little bit back from where I ended my round one, going in the back loop only, and crocheting over my tail at the same time. Make a standing single crochet stitch, tug on the tail a little bit, bring that knot down a little bit. And we're going to place one single crochet in each stitch around. Going in that back loop. And when I come up here to where my ending is of round one, I want to go into that last stitch there next to the knot. I'm going to trim off that excess tail in the back and now bringing in my round one tail I'm going to lay that down going into the next available stitch in the back loop and continue making my single crochet stitches around my last stitch end off your yarn and pull your tail through that last stitch. I want to weave in this end using the invisible join so I will have a continuous V stitch going all the way around. To do that I have a separate video on that as well. I'm going to go into that first stitch and go underneath the V and then go back to my last stitch and go through the center of the V along with that back loop and I'm going to make a pretend V right here and I'm adding on a stitch to my stitch count here by going in that, that first stitch but that won't matter for this pattern so I just go right there and then come down and weave in your end as you normally would. I like to make a knot because that is a live stitch up here. We don't want it to come out. So just bring it down a little ways and make your knot and secure that down. I make another knot. 
And again, I have a video tutorial on this separately that you can go ahead and watch if this is a new technique. And weave that in, going down further, and you can continue weaving that in. So now, let's see, where was I? Oh, right here. So right here is where I've made a new V. Okay. All right. So this is pedal one. Pedal one is is its own pedal, okay? And pedal two through seven will be different, and pedal eight is very different. So don't make all of your pedals like this, because it won't work. So let me show you pedal two. I'm going to use another color, and we will begin the same way. Chain eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Pick up our new, our first petal, and we're going to place the tail from the front to the back through the center of petal one, and with our working yarn in back of our hook. Insert your hook into that first chain of our chain eight, and then we're going to slip stitch together to form our ring. So now our chain eight is going around our petal number one. To start petal two, we're going to chain three and continue facing towards the back of our petal one. Every petal should be started in the exact same way so that the petals will lay correctly. So I like to just keep going in the direction that I'm going. I'm not turning my work. So there's two double crochets, three and four and continue making your 26 double crochets. Ending the round with a slip stitch to the top of my chain three, end off your yarn, and here's how it's looking. So to begin our second round of petal two, we want to straighten out our petals with the right side facing on both petals. So right side facing marked by our stitch marker as well. Petal two, this is the right side and this would be the wrong side. So we, we don't want it to lay that way. So make sure we have the right side facing before we start round two of single crochet. I'm using another color so that you can really see the contrast of everything, of where everything's going and how it's looping together. And again, going back a few stitches and going in back loop only. 26 single crochet around petal two. I've completed petal two, and before we add petal three, straighten everything out so that the right side is facing on all the petals. I have my next petal, chain eight, ready, and always add the next petal to the previous petal. And I'm threading the tail through the middle of petal two to begin petal three. And then slip stitch and again chain three and continue facing the wrong side. Always start your petals, your crocheting facing the same way. Okay. 
So that is how petals 2 and 3 through 7 will be added. To make the final petal number 8, chain 8 and using the tail going into petal 7, thread the tail from back to front on petal 7 and then pick up petal 1 and sandwich them together and then thread the same tail through petal 1 from back to front and we want to go into that first chain I lost my my loop here tighten that back down We're going to slip stitch into that first chain and we want our working yarn behind our hook to make that slip stitch and yarn over and pull through both loops. So we're be ready to begin by chain three and now we want to turn the flower, turn your work so that the right side is now facing you and when we begin crocheting into our chain 8 loop back here we will be facing the back side or go working toward the back side of our flower like we were doing before with all the other petals so there's four so I'm working towards the back like I had been doing like I said with all the other petals so as you're crocheting around, you will need to pull these stitches through these petals to get it to go all the way around. So continue with your 26 double crochet stitches. Finishing up my petal 8 round 1. Go ahead and straighten out your petals now. Isn't that pretty? And we have one more round. Round two for petal eight. And it's worked the same way. Back loop only, 26 single crochets around. Finishing round two on petal eight here. Next I will just flatten everything out, arrange the petals so that they're evenly spaced around. There is some curling from round two, which is fine. I think it adds to the texture of the flower and just arrange your petals. If you would like to close up the center, you could, from behind the flower, just tack the little petals together in a circle. That would be pretty. Or if you want to make another flower for the center here, you could open these up and tack in an, a little rose or something in the center here. I think that would be really pretty as well. I hope you've enjoyed learning how to make this pinwheel flower. For more video tutorials and patterns on knit, crochet, and Tunisian crochet, please go to my website at thepurpleponcho.com. Thank you for being here and thank you for crocheting with me today. Have a wonderful day.